there and happy Wednesday. I'm kind of doing an evening edition for you guys. Um, had an appointment out in Sioux Falls and how fun. Um, like when I see names pop up and I shout out, hey, this person and that person and Tori's usually watching. And so here I'm in the middle of Sam's Club and I hear Tori telling me not to buy uh, kids outfits for my grandkids and I didn't because she told me not to. Actually, they didn't have a great selection today. So my grandkids lost out this time. Tori was the winner, but it was so fun. Like I kind of did a tackle hug because I hadn't seen her for so long and I kind of miss all my people. So it was kind of fun to get out of the house today and uh, do that. So that's why I'm here a little bit later today. Hey there, Carol, good to have you on here. And so I am wrapping up Audrey Payton's virtual stamp party with card number three. And here is card number three with the Peaceful Deer bundle today, guys. And I'm using the Peaceful Prints celebration paper. Hi there, Julie. And um, yeah, I had fun. I started it kind of yesterday, finished it up tonight. And I think I liked it better after I walked away. Do you ever do that? You have a project and then you're not sure how you like it. And then you walk away and go, okay, maybe it's not so bad. Or I've had it be the opposite where you like it. And then you kind of come back to it and go, what was I thinking? <laughs> so hey there Julie good to have you on here and Brenda too wonderful so let me get started I can put down my iPad because that's caught up and then you guys can see Audrey's card up close and the right way so let me kind of get my camera <clears throat> here settled so here it is the peaceful deer bundle and I'm gonna show you some really fun little different accessories there with um, some glittery glamoury paper for Christmas I always feel like it's fun to pull out the stops with extra embossing or anything that has like sparkle and shine to it and today that's going to be the paper so let me get started hey there Chris good to see you on here so the deer bundle comes from the um, mini catalog here so that cover I'm, I'm actually pulling things from all sorts of different catalogs and I have them out sometimes I just refer to them and I'll do that too but um, there's one uh, thing that is a hidden gem that I want to make sure that you have so um, have reference to so on page uh, 26 here we have the peaceful deer bundle so you have this huge stamp set and the punch so lots of different images um, I think the stamp sets a little bit more condensed so you've seen me use like these trees before um, with the deer from the uh, peaceful print celebration paper so all sorts of different sentiments many of them geared <coughs> excuse me towards the Christmas season and yet um, I'm going to do some things down the road using these deer for birthday cards um, probably for family members and such too so you can buy that separate or of course the 10% uh, bundle savings if you include the punch and the stamp set together or you could even get the punch separate too some of you do that and that's okay you can do that so that's the peaceful deer bundle there and then this wonderful paper, of course, is free with your $50 purchase. I'm going to see if I can pick it up. So you have um, this pattern, pattern one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then when you flip it over, you have, you saw me use this yesterday with the cookie card, um, which you guys really loved. I heard a lot of comments about that after the fact. So then you have these designs, one, two, three, four, oops, five, and six. So some of these might look familiar. I am using this one today, just cutting out a little section of this. So free with a $50 purchase from the celebration brochure. So that is on page um, eight here. And then you can see different um, Think different ways that they've used it here on page nine. So hey there, Becky. Nice to have you join in. Um, and I kind of do the reference to where the products are in the beginning of my video because sometimes um, you've mentioned, you guys have mentioned that you go back and so then you don't have to listen to the whole video to know where to find it. So if you pull out your annual catalog, the big one, on page 135, you'll hardly see this pretty, pretty paper. But here it is, like hidden almost like right in the crease of the catalog. And it is called Gold and Rose Gold Metallic um, 
Golden Rose Gold 6x6 Metallic Specialty Paper. So this is the gold version, and that's what I'm putting on the card. And this is the Rose Gold. So um, Rose Gold's really popular. It has been for a while. So you get four sheets of each. Let me just double check. Yeah, four sheets of each, six by six. And so you know me, anytime I use specialty papers like this, um, I just use little bits and pieces. So a little bit goes a long way. And it's not rough. It's really... Um, it's really shiny and it has depth to it, but it's not rough like some of our glimmer paper. So it is definitely that kind of brushed um, feel, brush metallic like that. So that is where that is found in the annual catalog. Alrighty, so let's get to making the card. So for those of you just joining in, this is the card that we're making today. Um, like Lois just joining in. And it is definitely uh, geared for Christmas. And so I was debating about making the card be kind of like red because um, this pretty paper that's free, there's, you know, red papers in there. There's Sahara sand, there's greens. But yesterday my cookie card kind of was Sahara sand in red even though that didn't look like Christmas. So I thought, well, let's do something with some greenery to it in Sahara Sand. So this is kind of my color palette, Garden Green, which is the green that they're using in the Peaceful Prints here, and some of that pretty uh, metallic paper here, Sahara Sand, White, and Cinnamon Cider. So that that's kind of how I'm getting my color palette to go for you guys. And my card base is going to be the Garden Green, um, four and a quarter by five and a half folded this way. And then my next layer is going to be four by five and a quarter, pretty traditional for me. Um, and what I'm going to do to start out my card is I'm going to emboss it with the Timber 3D embossing folder pull that out. That is a newer product for me. Um, it's from the mini catalog too. So it goes great with so many of our um, outdoorsy themes like the deer here. Um, there's a lot of trees. If you love trees, there's a lot of tree and outdoorsy options in the mini catalog. So I love this um, this uh, embossing folder, the Timber 3D embossing folder. And because this is a 3D embossing folder, um, as I put this through my cut and emboss machine, I'm just using the base plate number one, just a thick plate. I'll lay that down in there. And then the plate number four, which is for um, 3D embossing folders. And it goes through super easy. Um, it goes through and you wouldn't even hardly know it's a thicker embossing folder. And look at that fun texture, really nice deep grooves in there that look like timber. Timber! <laughs> okay, that was a little much, guys. Um, all right, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and start doing some layering because I have lots of little pieces. And you might go, okay, should I put it on that side or that side? Um, so it's kind of just your preference. Um, but I feel like the one side has deeper grooves showing than the other. So I will go with that side being that side up. And let me just layer that on my garden green. And this is Sahara Sand. And then next, I just took a piece of that, um, the metallic gold and rose gold paper. This is the gold version, of course. Um, I cut this four inches by two inches, doing nothing with it, just having that be a specialty layer on the card here. And I'm just going to put that kind of across the middle of that. So that'll kind of line up with my um, edge of my uh, layer of Sahara sand there. And it's just so pretty. Um, but it's pretty like um, shiny. So this is how I'm going to kind of tame it down a little bit. Is I'm taking that Peaceful Prints paper, which is really pretty. Um, and the full sheet looks like this. I had to choose, like, do I want my little lines going this way or that way? So I cut a section going down uh, three and a half inches. So these are all three and a half inches across. And then this is just three four. So I kind of did some measurements, like what would attractively go across here, still showing that pretty paper underneath. Um, math, um, as far as like, I, I do um, well with math, but sometimes the spacing means math, and sometimes I don't do well with that. So I kind of went, okay, well, how much space do I have there, and how um, wide should I make these strips? And I kind of came up with that. But when it comes to spacing, there are some people I know that this part right here of my card will drive them crazy because they'll want exact measurements from the edge, like how far should I put that? And so I'm just kind of 
eyeing that, which I can. Um, some people that might be just as easy. Other people might really struggle. So I'm just kind of leaving um, that. And I'm not pressing down really hard until I have them all in place. Um, and then I go, okay, that looks like it's the same across the top, across the bottom, and equally spaced. Then I can give it a good smush there to keep it um, together like that. So you really still see a lot of that brushed gold uh, metallic paper, that specialty paper in between there too, and just gives it a special feel for the Christmas holiday. Um, and then next, what I'm going to do, you saw um, in the beginning of the video, if you <clears throat> tuned in, I had my glasses on, which means I'm going to color. So let's stamp out this deer here. There's several deer images. This is the one that um, best fits the... There's a couple of them, but the one that best fits the punch. And this is a photopolymer stamp set. <clears throat> so I'm going to um, get out my stamping mat here for a nice crisp image and stamp that out. So nice detailed kind of uh, deer. This kind of reminds me of the old fashioned deer, kind of the nostalgia look of that. And after I showed you the punch, I set it aside. I was like, where's my deer punch? I know I had it in my hand. Hey there, Pam. Thanks for joining in. So this I'm just going to scoot right into the punch and pretty easy to line up. You just have to make sure they have all the legs and the head in the right spot and give that a pop like so. And then while I have this in my hand, I'm just going to grab a little, um, a little strip of um, cinnamon cider and I'm just going to put that along the edge of my punch here and that's going to punch out some antlers so I can just kind of set that actually I'm going to set it aside I don't want to put that together on my mat all right so yes Pam you get a coloring lesson <laughs> all right so let's get to the coloring right away um, and I always put my camera down not for just for Pam, but for everybody that likes to see up close a little bit of the coloring. So um, the antlers are cinnamon cider. I thought that was a good combination color to go with the pretty uh, paper, that gold um, background. So I'm going to take the darker of the cinnamon cider first. Usually I like the bullet tip, but I'm going to go with a brush tip just because these legs are so scrawny that I feel like I'm just going to kind of just barely um hit the paper with that and just kind of lightly do this so just kind of getting in those little grooves there and hope i don't go out out of the lines and then i can just um as i get into the main part of the deer it'll be easier then i'll go up into the ears here still using the darker of the two cinnamon cider blends i do like this color um it, as I grab it, you know, I've grabbed it a lot for animals, coloring in, in animals, and I'm like, oh, I'm so sad that it's an in color because we all know what happens to in colors after they come out two years later, then they retire, so unless Stampin' Up! were to keep them in their color line, but um, yeah, it's a great color for animals, all sorts of different ones, not just deer, but it's good for bears and the squirrel stamp set from the mini catalog would be great for that and so many others like the sloth stamp set and such. So I'm just kind of highlighting that there on the outside and then the rest I'll just go over with my light cinnamon cider. Hi there Joyce, good to have you on here tonight. And so I just kind of catch the edges that I've outlined like so and then just kind of swirl that together like so. Comes together really easily. How fun is that? Doesn't that almost look like, like a sticker or packaging or something like that? Because those two colors just blend really well. I think some colors just pop more than others when blended. So now to assemble the antlers, I'm just going to take a uh, mini glue dot here and press like that, that part, the top part of the deer head into the glue dot. So we have the glue dot right there. And then I'm just going to have my antlers put together kind of close like so. I'm going to see if I just press like so. There. How's that? You just lay down your antlers, press that into there, and then you have instant antlers that have stuck into the glue dot there. And then I'm going to secure it. 
um, with a um, dimensional too to help that on there. Hey there, Kay. Thanks for sharing my video. I appreciate that. All right, so that I'm just going to set aside and then I'm going to do a little bit more stamping um, with another piece. I wonder where that went. I had it. Oh, here it is. It's like I know I had it. <laughs> All right, and so actually because it's photopolymer, I'm going to die cut first. Um, and I want to show you, I just covered it up, the dies that I'm using here. Um, so this is a fun little die here that is got a fun little shape and then it's stitched too. And that comes from the pretty pillow box dies. I actually can get my camera back up to a wider view so I don't have um, my plates to get that through. So I'm just going to run that through before I stamp because I know with it being photopolymer it's going to be easy to line up. But isn't that a cute shaped die? And I love that little stitching. And for little homespun Christmassy tags, I think that'd be fun. I could see some people um, just cranking these out and putting, decorating them and putting the two from for specialty uh, Christmas packaging and such too. So let me get out my, whoops, um, my mat, again, my stamping mat, and I'm going to add some garden green ink to this because that's the color of my card base and the pretty paper. And um, sending love and peace this season. That's what the sentiment says. Yeah, the die is just so cute, isn't it? Okay, I love it. And like I said, this is really easy to center when it's a photopolymer stamp set. So I've got that on there like so, and I think the green just helps tie that together. Um, and as I put this on the card, I didn't wanna pop this up too much because I'm going to add um, some embellishment along there. So this I'm just going to um, add my adhesive right onto here and kind of put that here. I feel like I got ink on the corner. So let me put that there and I'm going to see if I can just either that or sometimes it picks up a little fuzz as it goes through my machine. That looks a little bit better. All right, so I have that here. So that's going to be in one corner and then I'm ready to put the deer on. Now the deer I can pop up because I'm not going to be um, uh, putting any more embellishment on the deer. So I'm going to use two regular dimensionals. That seems to be the best thing to use for that. And then my tiny, tiny mini dimensionals, that is like perfect for the head of the deer. And I almost kind of just uh, cover up the um, antlers there for a little bit of extra stickum power to keep those antlers in place and then keep the head the same popped up level as the other dimensionals. Hey there, Robin, good to have you on here. That can happen when it's not during the work day, right? <laughs> All right, so um, the card that I made, I felt like the deer was a little bit too far down, so I'm going to scoot this one up so that it kind of is closer to the sentiment tag here, the greeting. And let me get my dimensionals out of the way. So now for my embellishment, um, I feel like it just needs, you know, a little something because um, it needs some pizzazz. And I was worried about that, but now I realize I don't have to because what I'm going to add are the gold holly leaves. And the gold holly leaves are in the mini catalog too um, with the big Christmas suite, painted Christmas suite. And they have two different sizes. So there's like a large gold leaf, aren't those pretty and shiny? And then a smaller one too. So um, all in total, there are 30 pieces. So you'll get 15 of each size of the gold holly leaves. And how I stick those on, whoops, is um, just find my next mini glue dot and I'll just put one right on top of there and then I'll find the next mini glue dot and just press that right into there and it comes off with the leaf and then I'm ready to put that here on my card so that's just going to kind of like zero in on that corner like so. So they're really easy to work with. Um, just kind of thin, but very, um, very durable. So I was kind of like, what are those going to look like? Um, hi, Sheila. Um, I don't know if anybody else's is frozen. Hopefully not. Or sometimes people have just said they wait and watch the replay and then it's not frozen. I'm seeing my video as I craft. So hopefully 
other people have better luck. The other um, embellishment that I'm going to add are the wonderful gems and they kind of come in like a cut glass little frosty look here that's vintage and then real red and these are a little bit bigger um, Lately, I've been using a lot of these red rhinestone jewels, so I kind of want to show you the difference. They are about the same color. Well, they're all supposed to be real red, but I'm going to use the largest one today, and then there's like the smaller version, but these are even smaller yet. So I like to show the comparison because a lot of times, if you're not sure what you want to order, having it shown in comparison will help you to make that decision. So I'm going to go with the larger here of the wonderful gems, and just pop that right on top of where the two leaves meet to make it look like a little holly berry there, like so. And then for the inside of my card, because I want to do just a little bit on the inside, um, I'm going to take my just my white, uh, basic white that I've cut four by five and a quarter, and I'm going to use a different sentiment from that stamp set. So I'm going to ink that up just in basic black that says wishing you a wonderful year and friendships dear and it's spelled d-e-a-r but I'm going to stamp out an, another dear image d-e-e-r so we have that and so I feel like that kind of vintage nostalgic um, uh, sentiment there that font kind of really matches the dear well for all of the deer that are in the set. And then I'm just going to tape that down with some seal quick to put that on the inside. You know, with this being Sahara sand, I'm like, should I go vanilla in the inside? But then I realized my deer here, I stamped on white. So I'm kind of following through with that so that it looks that same way. So I'll just put that down like so. And there we have card number three for Audrey Payton's virtual stamp party. Hey there, Chris. Thanks for joining in at the end. You might want to rewatch if you want to know how I made the card. <laughs> so hopefully you can see a lot of different products being used from a lot of different catalogs and know that the pretty paper's free um, through the end of this month because it's September. Let me get my camera moved around here so that you can see me. There I am. And so, um, yeah, it's been a busy day. That wraps up Audrey's uh, virtual uh, card at number three for her virtual stamp party. So how you get her three cards that I've made uh, today, yesterday, and the day before is if you place a minimum $25 order towards her party, then you get all three of the cards that I've made as a thank you from both her and I for ordering. And uh, just make sure that you use her host code because that lets me know that you've ordered through her party and tags these cards with her um, party and then um, if you have any questions or need help ordering just reach out to me contact me because I help people order all the time and I'd be more than happy to do that for you too your order gets shipped directly to you and Audrey gets the credit for her party that's how that all works and then I am taking a break because my house needs cleaning my garden needs salsa -ing, and all sorts of different projects around the house because it's just been crazy here for the last few months and so I'm going to take off doing videos until next Tuesday so that will allow me time to get a newsletter out for you guys with all the details about celebration wrapping up, what's coming next, and just little things like that from me, uh, my monthly newsletter, and then um, just projects. But um, hopefully you guys will have a fun weekend. It is a holiday weekend, and so hopefully you guys have fun plans for that. So I thought people won't miss me as much if it's a holiday weekend because maybe people are busy and doing things, especially outside before uh, the weather turns and such. So it should be nice for that. And I will be back on here Tuesday and my next um, hostess will be Dawn Earlbeck and I'm not sure if I'm starting in right away with her cards or starting my 10 pack of cards for September that kind of replaces the in-person 10 cards that people made at my in-person stamp camp event. So that's what you have to look forward to for sure in September is the hostess Dawn Earlbeck and my 10 pack of cards coming up too. So lots of fun ideas. So that's for sure 13 out of 30 days in the month of September that will keep me busy and you guys inspired. Thanks so much and have a great evening. Bye-bye.